Good afternoon, YouTube friends and family. This is your girl, Laura, uh, coming to you from the beautiful state of Michigan, where it's a little bit cold today. Our lakes are a little bit frozen over, but we have very little snow and the sun is shining. And so today I wanted to talk to you about uh, true friendship. Are you a true friend? Are you a best friend to someone? Now I want you to take for just a few moments and think about your best friend. What makes this person your best friend? What qualities? What attributes? Why do you consider this person a best friend? Now when I think about a best friend, I think about someone who's trustworthy, loyal, dependable, supportive, observant, and a good communicator. Now, when I say trustworthy, I mean that um, this person will keep your secrets. You can lay out your heart bare to this person. They won't betray you. They won't gossip. They won't tell your secrets, even if they're mad at you. This person is like a, a steel vault, the keeper of the secrets. And there are some people out in the world that are the keeper of the secrets, where you can tell them something and it will not go anywhere. They will take it to their grave. The second attribute that I spoke of was loyalty. Does this person stand up for you? Are they on your team? Are they on your side? When all the smoke and mirror clears up, will they be chanting your praise? Or will they be on the other team side? Chanting whatever they're saying. You know, is this person down for you, ride or die? there for you no matter what, um, right or wrong, good, bad, ugly, indifferent, is this person there for you? Are they loyal to you? And loyalty does not mean like a gang membership or uh, some sort of affiliation where you can't associate with anyone else. Uh, loyalty is being able to have other friends Make your choices without any type of influence, without jealousy, controversy, or criticism. Uh, loyalty means that, um, you know, they're not afraid to, your best friend is not afraid to tell you like it is. You know, if you're wrong, you're wrong. They're going to tell you. They will defend you when not in your presence. But when it's all said and done, they, they're the kind of friend that will come to you and tell you, you know what, you were wrong when you did that. You know, I love you. I'm still here for you. I'm still going to stand by your side. But you're wrong. And that's all to it. There's no excuse. Um, the third one that I spoke of is dependability. Can you make that call at 3 a.m. to this person? A lot of people tell you, oh, you can call me anytime. But what they really mean is you can call me between these set hours. After that, you're going to voicemail. Um, if you're in need, if you really need this person to come through, can you depend on them to come through? Can you depend on them to meet that need? If so, that's a true best friend. Um, supportive. That kind of ties in with trustworthiness and loyalty. Um, is this person your biggest cheerleader? Um... Do they encourage you to go that extra mile? Are they uplifting? Um, do they give you that old pat on the back? You know, when you feel as though you have nothing else left to give, do they walk with you that extra mile? Do they tell you, yes, you can go get it. It's yours. You can do it. You have what it takes. That's supported. Good communicator. We all know that a good communicator um, can talk, express themselves very well. But when I think of a good communicator, it's someone where we can talk about anything. Um, we resolve issues. We can be ourselves with this person. Um, this person is a good listener. Um, we can both communicate with each other where the message gets across to both of us. And we're both on the same page. We both have the same understanding. Also, a good communicator is someone that even in the silence, there's still communication going on. You can hang out with this person and enjoy this person's company even when there's silence. You don't have to constantly strike up a conversation. Um, 
the silence is understood. The message in the silence is an implied and understood message. Also, when I think of a good communicator, um, someone who's observant, uh, someone who they can look at you, they can read between the lines, they can look at your facial expressions and say, hey, you're smiling, but something is just not right with you today. Let's talk about it. And you may brush it off and say, oh, I'm okay. Nothing's going on. But an observant, good communicator, true best friend will tell you, oh, yeah, there's something going on. Let's talk about it. Let's let's. You know, what's going on? Um, our best friends, they drive us crazy. You know, they have little quirks and idiosyncrasies. We can't live with them. We can't live with them. We can't live without them. Um, you know, relationships are give and take. You know, um, with best friends, we both have quirks and things that drive us crazy about each other. But in the end, we love each other and we couldn't imagine life without each other. So what I would like you to do is write a letter to your best friend. And the letter is sort of like a letter of recommendation almost. Um, describe the attributes that make them a, a best friend. Uh, good times. Talk about laughs. How they've encouraged you. How they have lifted, uplifted you. Why do you feel this person is special? What makes this person a best friend to you? Why do you love this person? And how would life be different without this person in your life? And also, uh, in conclusion, uh, tell the person why you're grateful that they're part of your life. And then uh, read the letter. After you've read the letter, then I want you to replace your best friend's name with your name. Read it to yourself. And then how does that feel? Okay? So, until then, be blessed. And have a great and prosperous and wonderful rest of the week. And go out and act after you read this letter and be that type of best friend to someone. God bless you until we meet again. Bye-bye.